To throw at the outset, here's Hurts. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game Let's long? Go now. They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Well, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The surprising move here on the opening drive of the game, and this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. Hurt sets up to throw it. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Hurts. And he delivers a strike complete to Watkins. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hookup and set up a first and goal. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Once again with Sanders. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Touchdown, Eagles! Close Watkins from four yards out. And the Eagles get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. 
And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40 yard line. Well, he gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. As this offense gets ready here for this drive, Charles, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down in their own territory, didn't get it, and then that led to a touchdown. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. And oh, he missed it. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run, pass, mix, and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run, and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action, and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. A good pickup there, 21 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Hurts throw taken in by Watkins here. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Charlie Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And they are able to add on to their advantage. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying, we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead is up to eight. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. It's going to be pretty tough for them to match their efficiency, Charles, in that last possession, needing only the one play to find the end zone on the rushing touchdown. Yeah, they got that together collectively, didn't they? Total group effort, although the guy toting the rock, he gets all the credit. It was blocked up so well. The only thing stopping him was running into the goalpost in the back of the end zone. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Throwing his hurts. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Now a man open down the middle of the field. Touchdown, Philadelphia! But for as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And the final clocking on the next-gen stats there. How about this? 22.1 miles per hour. Wow. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready, set. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, this Nothing offense right looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three, because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started. The way that they're going about doing things right now, they've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And some room to run now. And he will step out of bounds down near the 10-yard line. 57 yards rushing for him now, just his first three carries. The ultimate speedster showing that speed in, this, in front of this home crowd. They love it. Made me stand up on that run because right now all I want to do is wave to the crowd. More noise, more noise. He got a reward for that one. A big-time monster run. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown. Miles Sanders, a 10-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to extend their lead. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great work, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is up to eight. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. It just appeared there that the defense, they had that red from the moment the ball was snapped. And not only did they get the interception, add a nice return on top of it, all the way into the end zone for a defensive touchdown. Yeah, and the guy made the play. He gets the points. But it really was a group effort, wasn't it? How about the coaches? They've got to be so excited. All the preparation, time in the film room. It translated into a big play. They put points on the board for their team. 
Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead is up to 15 now. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This taken in at the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he's going to be out of bounds across the 50. Great return. Partner, when I was in college, we used to have these things called game maxims that we did before every game. One of them said, press the kicking game. For here's where the breaks are made is the area of hidden yardage. How about that return? Flipping the field, taking it past the 50, and getting things set up to start the series. Hurts now hoping to make up for that pick six. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. From the 44, Hurts. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A gain of 22. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. From the gun, it's Hurts. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. He'll look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Charles, one thing that he referenced to us yesterday was his confidence fitting the ball into any window, but obviously that window was a little too tight and it was closing in a hurry. And he was talking to us about having anticipation in making those types of throws. Down near the goal line, I don't think you can anticipate it as much as you need to see it open. You've got to be precise with your throws down here in the red zone. That one goes into double coverage, and he gets picked off. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. As a coaching staff, you can call just about whatever you want because you understand you have guys who reliably take away those massive shots downfield. You're not as worried about giving up the big one. On second and ten, Hurts. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. 
Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. some drives. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. down hurts he's gonna look deep for Watkins it's caught inside the 25 touchdown Philadelphia Quez Watkins 